I've done my research. I've been on the internet. I've looked at nitric oxide. It says exercise raises your nitric oxide level. That is true to a certain extent. Moderate exercise does. Extremes of exercise may actually lower it and uh, cause more trouble because there's not enough nitric oxide. Uh, many, many things happen in the body while you're exercising. The demand for blood is increased not only to your muscle, but the heart as well. You know, your lungs are having to process more, you're using more oxygen. So there's a tremendous need during this exercise, particularly these extremes of, of exercise state. Marathon runners, uh, for example. So w when we are going to, if you're going to do something favorable for that system, you want to add more nitric oxide to the system so that there's enough for the needs of that person because they're needing more. When you improve the blood circulation anywhere with, uh, with something like a arginine, citrulline, uh, it's going to improve everywhere. Now, um, remember, 90% of erectile dysfunction is a blood flow problem. So frequently people are saying, uh, hey, I don't, even, I don't even need that pill anymore. And, and this is the way I think of it. Um, actually, I think medicine owes a debt of gratitude to Viagra, and this is why. Before Viagra, the only thing you could do, if you told your doctor, hey, I'm having trouble in that department, he could refer you to a urologic surgeon. Consequently, no one really complained of it, okay? It was just nobody talked about it. When, when that little blue pill came out, or whatever color it is, you know, when Viagra came out, though, uh, that, there was suddenly something any doctor, any internist could write a prescription for, um, and it worked. Now, the, the, the good news is it worked in the short term. Uh, the bad news is it had some, it had some side effects, okay? Uh, people were actually are more likely to have trouble with their heart, uh, more likely to have trouble with their vision. You know, there are some serious side effects that may be at work here. And then at the end of the day, that effect is gone. Now, why do I think we owe a debt of gratitude to Viagra? Because before Viagra, nobody complained. Now we've got Viagra. People come out of the woodwork and say, hey, I'm having trouble in that department. If you've got trouble in the blood flow there, chances are you have trouble in the blood flow in your heart. It's the earliest marker for heart disease. Erectile dysfunction, I'll say it again, is the earliest marker for heart disease. And it's better than your cholesterol level. It's better than your blood pressure. It's a better marker than any of those other problems. So when we, when we say, well, I could just take a pill for it, yes, but, number one, you still have the problem. So when you're taking arginine, citrulline, uh, you're actually making the body healthier. You're supporting the blood flow so that that's not going to be a problem anymore. And that's what people are telling us. They come back and say, I used to need that little pill, but not anymore. And that's wonderful.